We go off the beaten path down south for a stay and play you won't want to miss. Then we take you to a legendary restaurant with some Vegas history. Plus the secret and recipe behind the undercover Jet Setter Mule. How about a Carolina brew pub called Tap Time that shows off local craft beer? Get ready, we are toe-tapping our way into Undercover Jet Set. And cheers, everyone. Welcome. Cheers. We are going to take you to a location down south that you probably hadn't heard of, but is an area that is growing at a fast pace. It is called Merle's Inlet, and it's a great place to live, but also a great place for a golf play-and-stay getaway. We are in Myrtle's Inlet, South Carolina, south of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, for a golf, foodie, and beach getaway. This is part of the Myrtle Beach Golf Trail's Low Country Trail, where you can book it all. This is great for couples or a bunch of guys and gals. Now, first, we hit Wachasaw East. This 18-hole course has a Parkland tree line feel with a bit of a Scottish Lynx. It's in great shape with a lush rough and quick greens. Now, play to your distances, don't get greedy, and you can score here. After the round, hit the toasted tea bar and restaurant for some food and drinks. This is a gem. Where else can you get homemade Italian wedding soup like this? The Cuban was delicious with ham, pulled pork, and crunchy pickles. Need some beach time? Nearby Huntington State Beach goes... Four miles. After the beach, hit the Marsh Walk, a collection of restaurants, saloons, and shops in the historic fishing village of Myrtle's Inlet. First stop should be the Dead Dog Saloon. This is a jumping sports bar and family restaurant. Now, patrons here remember their lost dogs and toast their memories. And it's a good time bar with drinks like gator piss. Yeah, all we know is this is a southern comfort drink that is great. Have Boo Boo's tender bites. They are tender and tasty. Next door, hit Wahoo's Fish House for some inventive sushi and meals for all tastes. Then, tee it up at the International Golf Club of Myrtle Beach, a course that honors nations worldwide. Another tight Parkland-style course with lots of trees, water holes, and subtle greens. And you don't need the driver a lot, but you do need to hit it straight. And you'll need an appetite at the international bar and restaurant. We got the French burger, a black and blue, slightly blackened with blue cheese. And we also tried this delectable chicken wrap. Another gem course nearby is Blackmore, a Gary Player design we've highlighted before with one of the craziest holes, the eighth hole, that you'll have to make a decision on which tree alley to go for. For dinner, we suggest Frank's Outback in nearby Pauly's Island. Steak is classic here. And they bring in scallops from New Bedford, Massachusetts. Then how about this lobster shrimp martini ceviche style? Perfect for a warm night. And Frank's has inventive cocktails like this gin, cucumber, and basil martini. Now don't worry about drinking. Merle's Inlet has plenty of Uber and Lyft so you can let it flow. Interested in this play and stay? Then check out the Myrtle Beach Golf Trail website or contact your local golf provider. We'll have more for you in upcoming segments. Now, you don't live too far away from there, and you are seeing the growth. Yeah, I'm a little bit more about an hour away or so. North and South Carolina are growing at a fast pace, and there are two reasons, right? Absolutely, yes. First, there's a lot of people retiring from the north or colder climates who would prefer something more mild, but they don't want to go to Florida. The second reason is there are many people who can work remotely, and they want to live down by the beach. And you can see why. With that area down there and the lifestyle, it is hard to stay away. Yeah, no doubt about that. Now, when we come back, we're going to head to Vegas for a restaurant that only locals would know about, but you should definitely hit. Cheers. Undercover Jet Setter Welcome is back. booming. We are looking for partners to attract consumers interested in travel, food, mixology, wine, restaurants, and golf. Your business and expertise will be profiled on our shows and online segments that will provide you with valuable marketing tools, which you can use on your sites. And your business will also gain exposure to our Undercover Jet Setter global reach of over 120 million across all of our platforms. Drop us a line here and let's partner up together. Welcome back. We are heading to Las Vegas and to a local restaurant that has quite a history. But its Italian cuisine is legendary as well. It's called the Bootlegger. 
When you're in Las Vegas, the bootlegger is a must because of the legendary history and amazing food. That's right. It's just south of the Strip on Las Vegas Boulevard, and it offers some of the best Italian food in the region. And it's not just us saying it. It was a traditional, old-school Italian restaurant uh, that goes way back, so great memories. And you know old-school Italian from your family. How was the food? The food was phenomenal. Fantastic. The uh, mushroom um, appetizer with, with uh, stuffed mushrooms was amazing. The lasagna, which I don't like at restaurants, was as close to home cooking as I've, I've had. My mom uh, was a phenomenal cook, and this was fantastic. Uh, probably the best lasagna I've ever had in a restaurant outside of what uh, my mom and my wife did. It's so good, you wouldn't even share it with anybody. That's true, I, would, I, I went through it as fast as I could eat it, correct. First, we had the stuffed mushrooms, and as you can see, everyone <laughs> gobbled them up so fast that we barely got any video of them. <laughs> the stuffing is made with in-house homemade sausage, and the Italian spices with it were superb. Next, we had these mini garlic rolls with Chef Maria's marinara sauce. These were light and delicious, and the marinara is pure heaven. We also got these lightly breaded eggplant fritti, which everyone raved over. They were super yummy and served with that fabulous marinara. For entrees, the salsiccia al Alberto with house-made sausage, caramelized onions, roasted potatoes, and sweet peppers. This is an Italian classic. Now Richard got the lasagna, which he did not share. Another testament to how good it was. And Susan had the bucatini alla cabanara cooked al dente with fresh peas and pancetta. Another jam was Chef Maria's veal saltum boca. Yes, it tastes as luscious as it looks. This is veal pounded thin, rolled with Genoa salami, capicola, and cheese, then dipped in Italian egg batter and sautéed in a sherry wine and mushroom sauce served with fettuccine alfredo. Mamma mia. Oh, yeah. Now, we paired everything with the Ferrari Carano Chardonnay, an Italian name with California roots. It complemented the carbonara and the veal perfectly. Baked into the bootlegger food is decades of tradition. The bootlegger has been in Las Vegas since 1949. It was started by Chef Maria and Al Perry, who came from Niagara Falls, New York. The bootlegger became a legendary fixture as Las Vegas grew from the 1950s into the golden age of the 1990s, even until today. Now, sadly, Al and Maria have both passed away. Maria died a few years ago, surpassing her 100th birthday. But the family continues the tradition, so you can actually feel them there. We even sat at Maria's special table, and I got to sit in Chef Maria's designated seat near the piano. What an honor. Now, their daughter is an entertainer and Nevada political legend Lorraine Hunt, who I covered for many years during my reporting days there. Lorraine and her recording artist husband, Dennis Bono, still work at the bootlegger and perform at various times. And they have kept that fun Rat Pack culture of the 1950s. I needed some wonder. We were entertained by pianist and crooner, Doug Taylor. Now our waiter, Cody, was just as entertaining and informative on the massive menu and the service was impeccable. The bootlegger also upholds the tradition of being a 24-hour establishment. So yes, you can get great Italian food and service anytime. This was and is a great late night spot after being out on the town. Remember to use ride sharing, which is plentiful in Las Vegas. As a visitor to Las Vegas, the bootlegger is a must. And if you are one of the many moving to Las Vegas, going to the bootlegger will enrich you in the glorious past of this fabulous town. Now, this is a place that a lot of people hang out in Vegas who are connected to the Vegas entertainment scene. And in another episode, we will take you to a Monday night hangout session and a jam session, and you'll enjoy it. We are in Cozumel, Mexico. You may have noticed, but the majority of Undercover Jet Setter is shot on the iPhone. So that means you can create your own TV show. You may want to have great vacation videos. Well, we've made it easier for you with our book. It's called The TV Studio In Your Hand. It's a quick read, and you can get it here. So bring us along for your next vacation video or your new TV show. Refreshing and extremely healthy drink to go with everything, try this one. It is called A1C and it's conceivably the healthiest drink 
ever made. A1C is the first scientifically designed diabetic drink in the history of the world, and we love it. And it's just not for people with diabetes, although it is great for that. Anyone can enjoy the wonderful health benefits and delicious flavor. Go to a1cdrinks.com to try it and use coupon code JETSETTER1 for a 5% discount. Cheers, Jet Setters. And welcome back, everybody. We got a different Cheers. treat for you. We're going to talk about a uh, about a drink, but we're also going to talk about uh, these things that are in it. These are actually the same product. They're called Yetis. We're going to tell you about that when we get back, but let's tell you about the drink first of all, because mm -hmm. this is called the Undercover Jet Setter Mule. And this is a fun drink, because you see mules all the time. We kind of give you a different twist on this. Yeah, no, we really did. And, you know, as in Jet Setter style, we kept it healthy. So we went with our buy, our favorite soda, which mm -hmm. is the healthiest soda in the world. It's low calorie. There's five calories in each one and it's sugar free. It's sweetened with stevia and all natural stuff. And it actually has a coffee bean in it, a coffee fruit, which is like healthy for you. So it gives you antioxidants. So you're getting your health and a cocktail all in one. And so we use the Jambi ginger ale in, in this. And then, uh, well, you'll see how we made it in just a second, but we, we combined a couple of other things together and it's super refreshing, especially if you put it in these. It's really good. So anyway, let's go check it out and see how we made it. So that's how we made it, and it's actually it's pretty easy. Uh, we mm -hmm. decided to add some rum and bourbon. Usually, it's e it's either one or the other, or it could be a whiskey mm -hmm. in there. The, the main thing, obviously, for any um, mule is the ginger. Yeah, and you don't have to have ginger beer. No, something you can just use. Like we didn't use ginger beer. We used. A, a, a ginger ginger zinger juice that yeah. we got at Trader Joe's so again pretty healthy and we use the spice rum I like the spice rum in yeah. it because it gives it a little kick which is which is a nice thing at the end so it's just like this great refreshing combination of ginger the kick of the spiced rum and then that squirt of orange that's yeah. really good in there just a little fruit to add and so it's pretty healthy for a mule i think and it's great in in these in yetis and one of the things you you, you want to get a yeti for especially during the summer um we, we both have yeti cups here um mine is <clears throat> kind of the, the the glass kind or the the big tin mug um and as you can see there's just there's a, there's a ton of ice in there that ice stays for hours and hours. And when oh, you're yeah. doing a mixed drink, this is the best thing to have, especially during the summer. Um, I actually got this when I was on a, a Caribbean trip, and the people who were with us, they all got Yetis for everybody. Mm -hmm. And so what it does is that it, it allows you to um, have a bigger drink so you don't have to keep going back and forth. That's right, and it keeps it cold. So you're sitting out by, by the pool on a hot day. It's not glass, it's unbreakable. It's made out of totally stainless steel. It's renewable resource kind of a thing. And and when you put the lid on, you shake it up and you've got a totally cold drink. I think it, it stays cold for up to, to 48 hours. Yeah. This does anyway, and I also use mine to go and work out. It's great to have cold water and things like that when you're out work, work, working out or if you're just out in the heat in the summer. It Keep it in the car, fits perfectly. So. And we love one, these things. This one has a lid, so uh, I'll actually take it, I'll fill it with water, and if I'm doing like a power walk, um, I, I'll, I'll just hold it like this, and you can hold it down to the side. But if you're a golfer, because we do golf on the show, holding it here like this while you're moving 
increases your grip. Oh yeah, and when good you, idea. When you have your grip, because the, the golf grip is right here in, in your fingers, that's, that's gonna give you the strength and the accuracy for your golf swing. And I find I'm doing this, I'll switch it up and do it, and do it this way. So the Yeti is really versatile. There are other products out there that are similar. You can get them at, at some of the cheaper department stores. You can get them online. And they're, they're really just as good. Oh, I mean, yeah. they're just oh, yeah. as good. All, so it's not like all... we're pushing Yeti, but Yeti did come up with this, so we wanted to give them a, a shout out. A as shout well. out, yeah. And then, and this actually wasn't made by Yeti, but it's the same thing um, that it's made out of stainless steel. And they're, like we said, unbreakable. They keep everything super cold. Yep. And, and you know, you, you mentioned it to me before, and I noticed it. There's something about when you have an alcoholic drink, a cocktail out of these, it somehow changes the flavor and it just it gives really it more oomph does. or something. Thing. Not only does it keep it colder than you ever could in a glass, but it also just adds like I don't know what to it. But I've it's actually really made cool. drinks for friends in a Yeti, and then <clears throat> I would let it sit for maybe like 20, 30 seconds to let the cold all get in there, and it's a different tasting drink. Mm -hmm. It so, really is. So like we always tell you about with wine, don't over chill wine, but when you're doing a libation, alcohol libation, use one of these. I mean it. it, it it saves you from getting up. Let's say you're gonna go, you're gonna go down on the dock, and you don't want to bring, you know, four or five bottles or something. Give yourself one big. Absolutely, and that's why I we like the big sizes. You could get them in smaller sizes. I think this is 28 ounces. That's 24 ounces. I, I'm go big or go home girl. So you know, I love the big size. <laughs> <clears throat> and try the undercover jet setter mule. We're gonna have it up on the website, the recipe, so you can see it. It's really easy to make and. Uh, Really, it's 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 a classic drink you can do because you'll see it at so many great restaurants. Oh yeah, it's one you can do at home. Yeah, make it make it yourself. Go to undercoverjetsetter.com. Just click on Mixology. We have the recipe up there for you. And tweet us at UC Foodie TV and let us know how it works out. If you have some other suggestions, we'd love to hear it. And we'll make more drinks for you too. Oh yeah. And still to come, we hit a new brew pub in a state that is gaining prominence in the craft beer industry. <laughs> You can find Undercover Jet Setter on Wingding TV, a streaming channel, and so much more. Like us, you can have your own show or channel to promote your business and reach more customers. Because Wingding Media is also a social media and digital marketing giant. Look what they've done for the Ultimate Long Drive Championships. More than a million viewers with 30 licensed partnerships sold around the world. So, check out Wingding.tv to watch Undercover Jet Setter or to create something for your own business. You may not have noticed, but the majority of Undercover Jet Setter is shot on the iPhone. So that means you can create your own TV show, or you may want to have great vacation videos. Well, we've made it easier for you with our book. It's called The TV Studio In Your Hand. It is a quick read, and you can get it here. So bring us along for your next vacation video or your new TV show. Couples that love golf need to hit the couple's jamboree. It has been around since 1966. Now, we warn you, it will test you. Uh, I'm tired, my hands hurt, and my feet hurt. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's because you're playing pine needles and mid-pines golf courses. Both are classic and typical Donald Ross designs. Beautiful, but greens that are slippery slopes. Uh, you better be able to putt on extremely fast greens. Don't you? you better know what you're doing around the greens, as most Donald Ross courses are all about the greens. And uh, they're like upside down bowls. Uh, we call, like to call it fair tough around here. You, you better have your A game when you're, when you're putting around the greens. <laughs> but it gives you options. Sometimes you use the, the rescue club around the green, the utility clubs, or you can pitch it high, or you can putt it from about anywhere. So uh, it, it, it's a variety of shots, and, and it can be challenging. We don't really want to be above the hole, that's for sure, but then if you're too far short of the hole, you're back off the green because of the slopes, yeah. you know, the false fronts yeah. on the green. So that's really hard. We found this out ourselves in the sand and really enjoyed it so much in the sand <laughs> it took us five to get out of the sand. Um, we ended up with a, a novel score of 14. 
<laughs> on a par five. It was wonderful. It was really the way to it made set, our the day. Yes, set the tone. It set the tone. That's right. It made our day. <laughs> so what did then on the second day of the three-day event, you play a different format that might test you and your golf partner's relationship. It's called Modified Alternate Shot. The players themselves call it the hit, switch, and bitch format. <laughs> you both tee off, you hit each other's tee shots no matter where they go. After you've each hit two shots, then you select the best shot and you alternate from there. So that's the bitch part, the hit, switch, and the bitch. It's a lot of fun. Oh, we call it <laughs> divorce court. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a couple names. One I've called, I've heard it called the divorce tournament, um, but the other more <laughs> lack of, you know, the more colorful term is called bitch, bitch, and bitch some more <laughs> format. You know, you feel the pressure on every single shot. Yeah, I could honestly say we experienced the great outdoors in the woods. Uh, we were at the beach several times in many of the bu of the bunkers, <laughs> and we, yeah, we got to see the course from perspectives we wouldn't normally not see if we played our own ball all day long. That is true. <laughs> We're still happy today. It's the morning after, and it's okay. They were very it's, it's a it's a very tough format. We have several divorce attorneys waiting on 18 green, um, and they and they stay busy. No, it's uh, it's tough because this game's tough enough playing for yourself and by yourself. But when you have a partner involved and you switch off alternate shots, it's uh, it can be pretty tricky. But it's a lot of fun, and the and the best teams come out that way. I mean, it's it's a format that. You, both players need to be on to have a good score that day. Despite the on-course anxiety, the couple's jamboree has plenty of fun. Entertainment, great food and drink, and award ceremonies at these historic golf venues. Plus, we're here with friends. Yeah, that's the whole thing. So that's thing. that's the win right there. Just no matter how bad with, we play, yeah, yeah. no matter how bad we play, we're here with friends and neighbors. And enjoying and, right. enjoying the, the weekend. That's yes. it. That's most important. It's been a fun time. <laughs> it wonderful has been a friends. Fun time, yeah. Wonderful <clears throat> friends. Met new people and the course courses are in fantastic shape. They are. So uh, but tough courses. Tough there, courses to play. And the best part about coming is meeting people from different parts of the country people that do this on a regular basis, so uh, you're making friends uh, and you're just really sharing nice experiences together. For more information about the Couples Jamboree and other events at Pine Needles at Mid Pines, go to this website. And remember, Pine Needles hosts the 2022 U.S. Women's Open. <laughs> We started the show down south, so let's close it down south. Now we hit a new brew pub that just opened. It is called Tap Time. And you brought your brother-in-law from Japan, who is one of our craft beer experts. Take a look as we also pay a little homage to Queen and Freddie Mercury. See if you catch it. We found a place where you can be a cool cat. And you'll be tapping on the toe with a new hat when you taste this craft beer and some wine. It is called Tap Time in Ocean Isle Beach in the Publix Plaza. The owners, Keith and Krista Burchunas, say the concept is quite simple. We're a craft beer tap room, um, a social gathering location to enjoy good beer. That's nice. We took our craft beer expert, John Williams, your brother-in-law, who came all the way from Japan. Time. Tap Time is a fantastic place. I mean, uh, you, have, you got 14 selections, a uh, little bit of everything, and uh, a great prices on on a Friday. You can get you know you can get a flight for five dollars. How can you beat that? So it's awesome. So he tested two flights. I really love the the uh, the founders. Uh, the, the, it's called the Mosaic Promise. It was really good. It, uh, founders and where, makes, where was that from? It's from uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Mm -hmm. And they, they, they make a lot of great beers. I think they have the, the number one uh, IPA, American IPA, in, in the United States. has been voted a couple of times. His next favorite was a local brew. And then this other one was uh, Edward Teach Pontus, uh, which is out of Wilmington. That was beautiful. It, even though it was a double IPA, it wasn't very heavy. It had, it had a great flavor, uh, really easy to drink. Uh, I, you can't drink a lot of it, but... Uh, uh, it didn't. It wasn't heavy, and uh, I really love that one too. Are you surprised about a Wilmington brewery being able to come up with something like that? No, you know, I mean North Carolina. I mean, 
it, Asheville is, uh, you know, that's a, 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 a center part of, uh, of American craft beer now. So, I mean, uh, Wilmington, I don't think that's, I know right on the waterfront there must be five or six uh, breweries right there. So that doesn't surprise me, but it was really good. Keith says that is the key, a system to bring in many craft beers from many places. We are utilizing a couple different systems. We're still working on the, the depths of that system, keeping unique beers. Um, we have a lot of different beers, craft beers from around the country. We have really tried to focus on craft beers from our region, not just North Carolina, but South Carolina, into upper Georgia, into Virginia. Um, looking for unique beers that meet different profiles. We have challenged ourselves with not having any beers that anybody in our area has on tap, which has proven difficult. As we rotate good beers in, it seems like the gangs around town have decided that they wanted to follow suit and bring good beers in. So that has tasked us with a little more effort to not only keep a high rated beer and a high quality of beer, but a different variety of beer. Kristen and I have done, she did today, um, some self-distribution. We are reaching out to breweries that are not distributing yet. Uh, they are just serving in their own tap rooms and local restaurants nearby them. We're bringing in the next few weeks quite a few brews that haven't been introduced to Southeast North Carolina yet. Wow, so people need to stay tuned. Absolutely. Follow us on Untapped. It's going to be fun. It's a constant change. But Tap Time Beer doesn't just steal the limelight with all the chit-chat because there are unique wines, too. Okay, so we keep a rotation of wine in. We've had a couple of wine tastings asking, well, one of wine tasting, one coming up, asking our customers what kind of wine they prefer. Uh, we don't have any grocery store wine in the tap room. We want our wine to be as unique as our beer. Tap Time serves no food, but you can bring in your own nibbles. A new restaurant next door will provide a menu. And you can always stop by Publix. The best way to reach Tap Time is on Instagram or Facebook. Look for Tap Time OIB. And cheers, you cool cats. It is a fun spot to hang out. And what's so great about it is if you don't drink beer, there's good wine there for you, too. Now, we should mention the Freddie Mercury reference. That was taken from one of my favorite songs called Cool Cat, and it just seemed to be a fun fit. See, we try to give you new and different things here on Undercover Jet Center. And we will have more in upcoming episodes as well. Make sure to check us out on Facebook at Undercover Jet Center, also on Twitter at UC Foodie TV. And if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure you do it. Cheers, you cool cats. <laughs> refreshing and extremely healthy drink to go with everything, try this one. It is called A1C and it's conceivably the healthiest drink ever made. A1C is the first scientifically designed diabetic drink in the history of the world and we love it. And it's just not for people with diabetes, although it is great for that. Anyone can enjoy the wonderful health benefits and delicious flavor. Go to a1cdrinks.com to try it and use coupon code JETSETTER1 for a 5% discount. Cheers, Jetsetters.